Okay. So today, what we're actually getting into is I'm going to fix my Joy-Con drift problem. I have been having nothing but issues with it for months, to say the least. And I've finally had enough. So let's let's get into it, all right? It's going to be a quick and easy solution and zero tools required. Let's go. So I know what all of you are thinking. Zero tools required. How are you going to do that? Well, this just made a lot of people leave the video. I just bought a controller. Let's unbox it. All right, so right here we have our old Joy-Con controller and then we have the new controller. Really excited. Reason why I bought the new controller and I'm no longer gonna really use my Joy-Cons too often is mainly because the left Joy-Con itself is the one with the drift problem. So it does the left and right ups and down drifts. Um, if you've watched any of my streams, you've probably seen me complain about it a million times over. And that's just kind of the nature of why it, I, I couldn't deal with it anymore. I do have a second set of Joy-Cons as well, exact same problem. And these were actually the newer ones that I bought within the last couple of years. Um, and I owned a Switch day one, so I expected my original ones to do it, but I didn't expect the newer ones that I bought to do it as quickly. Um, so needless to say, these are gone. And in with the new controller. So I'll have somewhere here on the screen a indication of which controller this actually is, but just getting a quick little look at the box, you know, it's wireless controller, Type-C interface, it has all the vibrations, all the fancy stuff built into the back. It's got, you know, it says it'll last up to like 10 hours on a single charge, which is pretty nice. That way I can not have to worry about charging it uh, every time that I want to play. So I can play with it a few times. It got a little broken shipping, but oh well. It only cost me about $35 ultimately, so I'm very happy with this purchase. So if we go ahead and get into it, we can probably get to some exciting things. So it was more or less one of the cheapest ones on the market because it's aftermarket, um, so I wasn't too worried about it. But as I say, it's got you know your little bit of startup manual, first time user guide, nothing too exciting there. Just toss that away, who needs that? Uh, it has a little key, a little pinhole key. I'm guessing that's to hit the reset button that's probably on the controller. Uh, don't lose that. Uh, what else we got? We got the Type-C charging cable, twist high, cheap quality, but I mean, another Type-C doesn't ever hurt. And then into the meat and potatoes of the controller. Oh, it's already got some charge, nice. So what we have right here is the controller. Uh, it's got some extra little firm grips right here on the side, two thumbsticks, everything that you'd expect. It does have a turbo button built in right here, and then it has your home button, your screenshot button, your minus and your plus, and then all of your keys. Uh, first impressions, it does actually hold up pretty well in my hands. It's about the right size. Uh, my hands are fairly large, but overall it works pretty well. Um, controls, I mean, feel good. I'm going to be playing stream here shortly, actually, um, and be using this the entire time, so I'm quite excited. Um, it does have a little bit of that cheap feel to it, but ultimately it doesn't have any type of flex or anything like that. Um, it is kind of noisy, um, so you can hear, like, I hope the mic should be picking these up, but, like, those buttons are pretty loud. The clicks are also pretty loud. Like, if we compare that to the original Joy-Con, like, it's just, it's much softer, right? But that's what we kind of get with a full scale controller. Um, I actually have another controller, just give me a second. So right here is actually my PS3 controller that I actually always have hooked up to my computer. Um, and you can sort of see a comparison like, It is much louder. So PS3 controller, new controller. It's just, it's got a much louder click, but I mean, aftermarket versus, you know, the actual correct controller. Uh, PlayStation versus Nintendo, but nonetheless, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so it all feels really good. 
Um, shouldn't be too hard to link up. But yeah, I'm really excited to start using this and hopefully. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to do, I believe, a find controllers. Uh, and if I hit the home button on my new controller, it should be able to find it. Uh, maybe not. I'm going to circle back on this one. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little USB-C. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the switch and then see what happens. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, it's now plugged into the switch. So now if I hit the power button, maybe. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to go look at the, the manual. I don't wanna have to do that. How about now? Hmm. I guess to the manual we go. Okay, I think I figured it out. This is weird, but I guess it's just I don't understand how it works. So it says to plug in my USB, then turn on my switch, and then plug in my controller. So that's what I'm going to do. It says all four lights should flash. They aren't. Maybe now. Oh, all four lights are flashing. I'm not doing anything. Oh, you got no chance of seeing that. Well, just believe me, they are all flashing right now. Uh, all four lights are flashing after I connected it, and after I do that, press the button combo. So this is our A, B, X, Y. Oh, I didn't need to do it all. And then we can see it's connected via USB. Hey, we did it. All right. Um, I'm going to go stream a bunch, and I'll check in with you all after to see how well the controller works. Okay, so we just finished up the live stream. Uh, had a lot of fun. There's some new people that showed up and, and joined us, and that was all good. Um, shout outs to them. But yeah, uh, using the controller, it was actually quite nice. I'm just trying to get used to it a little bit. There's fine tunement, like just being able to slowly move like my arrows and whatnot when I'm firing was a little weird, but I think that's just adjustment. Uh, the controller is loud is my biggest complaint, I think, but I mean, it's not, you know, original it's a aftermarket product so i don't expect perfection it's just noisy that's the personal complaint i didn't really hear too much because i wear headphones when i play but i i did see the microphone bar jump up a little bit so you can probably hear the clickety clack behind the scenes but overall really solid controller uh we did a stream about an hour and a half almost two hours and no issues uh it all works great oh we actually didn't do a plastic pull so let's get that right on up in there See if we can get it all in one go. We will. Plastic. Plastic. And just see if we can get that noise. Maybe you heard it. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. But yeah, overall, controller, really good. Uh, I would recommend. I will have a link in the description below to... Uh, probably Amazon to where I actually bought this from. Like I said, it was about $35, $40. Uh, that's in Canadian. Uh, for U.S. people, it's probably $30, $32, give or take. Um, but overall, really solid. If you're looking for just a quick little easy replacement uh, for your Joy-Cons, definitely would recommend rather than spending the full $80 or $90 for the Pro Controller. This has all the same functionality, does all the same things. As we saw, it was a little weird to just get set up, but that's a one-time thing, I'm hoping. And from there on, we'll be really good. But yeah, uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this, uh, learned a little something more. I know it was a little clickbaity. I actually just bought a new controller rather than fixing my Joy-Cons. Uh, I do plan on fixing my Joy-Cons in the future, uh, so watch for a video for that. I don't know when I'm going to buy the repair kit. I actually ordered it. It got canceled, and I just I never got it, essentially. So then... I never made a video about repairing them. But yeah, 
Hopefully you did all enjoy this. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you're not already. Also be sure to ring that little notification bell after you subscribe so that you can be notified whenever I live stream or upload for that matter. Right now we are working on a mobile game uh, in Unity, so if you're interested in any of that, be sure to check out those videos. I'm trying to post about one a week or so right now so that you can all just sort of stay following along and see what my progress is. But other than that, description below, there's Twitter, Discord, all that good stuff. Be sure to come and follow along and get a little bit more involved. But thanks again. My name is Azul. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.